And now we all know LeBron is going to be missed as his career comes to an end in the NBA. But there's been multiple conversations about the Lakers giving LeBron James a statue outside of cryptocurrency arena. Now, to me, LeBron James does not deserve a statue at all because Los Angeles is not where he established his greatness whatsoever. When I think of LeBron James and the greatness that he's done, immediately I'm thinking Cleveland. If not Cleveland, I immediately think Miami because that's where he won his first few championships. But no way in hell am I thinking Los Angeles, LeBron James, the greatest player in the world. No, LeBron James going to Los Angeles was really a treat for the Los Angeles Lakers because the Lakers, it wasn't like LeBron was like, man, I grew up a Laker fan my whole entire life. None of that. He just so happened to finish all the great things that he started in the beginning of his, his career with the Los Angeles Lakers. Because hear me out and hear me clearly. If LeBron chooses to go to any other team before he left Cleveland in his second stunt, in his second run, LeBron would have solidified his greatness anywhere else. He would have still broke the all-time scoring record. He would have still hit 40,000 points if he would have went anywhere else. Instead of Los Angeles, if LeBron said, you know what, I want to go to Charlotte and play for the Hornets. He still would have established the rest of his greatness and capitalizing on everything he'd done early on in his career with that team. It did not matter the destination that LeBron went to. We all knew he was still possibly going to go to the finals or have good playoff success because he's LeBron. And in these next few years, he's possibly going to leave LA because he wants to go play with his kid. Him going to LA wasn't necessarily a thing like, I'm a, I, I, I've always wanted to play for the purple and gold. And then even now that he's with the purple and gold, he's only won one championship. And it's in the bubble, which is, is still debatable on being kind of uh, a little shaky. The bubble wasn't anything like a, a it's, some people say it was the hardest championship to win. A lot of NBA guys say that they're on record saying, oh, it was the hardest championship because there was nothing else to do. You only had to be locked in on basketball. So I get that. I'll give credit to that. But either way it goes, people are still looking at the bubble as something that's shaky because you didn't have the NBA finals and fans attending the game. And we all know fans make a huge difference at the game cheering. Home court advantage is home court advantage for a reason. You have referees that's at that home court. You have referees that's on the road. You got referees getting slide dealed by some, you know, by some, by some pins that's out there, you know, throwing money at them and all of that stuff. So it's a lot of different things. But in terms of giving LeBron James a statue in L.A., to me, it would be more so out of respect rather than him actually earning that in, the, in front of cryptocurrency arena because he's played six seasons with the Lakers. One NBA championship. He's probably going to leave or retire soon. But Bron chose to play with any other team. We know he would have still established that greatness. But despite a, a franchise who's already established everything um, in terms of setting the bar high up, the Los Angeles Lakers don't get to put up statues out of respect. All but two people who have a statue um, outside of Los Angeles have won three or more championships. Besides Jerry West and Elgin Baylor, who were diehard Lakers who spent a majority of their career in L.A., um, everyone else has won three or more championships. LeBron only has one championship, and he's not a diehard L.A. guy. He just wanted to be there because he has some movies in motion. He's trying to connect on some business deals. He's trying to connect the missing pieces for when he's about to retire because I'm pretty sure at this point he was going to retire and, and chill out in L.A., and that was a huge reason, of part, a part of the reason why he went to L.A. So to me, nah, man, LeBron don't deserve no statue out there. Does he deserve it in Miami? Of course. Does he deserve it in Cleveland? Absolutely. But L.A.? Nah, the Lakers are better than that. If they're going to continue to hold themselves to that standard of, oh, we're the Lakers. Like, you, you, I, I don't know. Maybe you know what I'm talking about. Lakers is just bougie as hell. So if they're going to continue to be bougie as hell, they got to, you know, you got to uphold that standard. And it's not a bad thing if they put up a LeBron statue because it is LeBron. But it's also like, bro, LeBron is not a, a Laker legend compared to everyone else who's there in Los Angeles right now who has a statue. Uh, Jerry West, Laker legend. Elgin Baylor, Laker legend. Shaq, Laker legend. Kobe, Laker legend. Magic Johnson, Laker legend. Kareem, Laker legend. These guys are Laker legends. LeBron isn't a Laker legend. He went there because he wanted to retire in LA and stay in LA. 
That's not where he capitalized on his legacy. So I can't give him that statue in LA personally. I, I wouldn't be able to do it, but um, I, I mean, ultimately it's going to be up to them. But I'm, I'm, if I had a vote in it, no, he's not. He's not getting that statue in LA. Uh, 